Hi guys, and welcome to the first video on coding your very own DIY voice assistant, Spencer. In this video, we'll guide you through some basic coding and demonstrate how to run the code. Let's get started. First, you must find a USB cable you got with your kit and prepare your Windows, Mac or Linux computer. Connect Spencer and go to code.circuitmess.com. If this is your first visit to the site, you'll need to create an account before proceeding. You can either use your email and create a password or use your Google account. You can also find more detailed instructions on how to use circuit blocks in the caption. Let's begin by exploring the main menu. Here you will find the button for creating a new sketch and next to it you'll have access to your saved sketches in the future. Scrolling down you'll see different examples we have prepared for you. And at the top of the site you'll see options to restore firmware and to log out. Let's click on the new sketch. In the device section you can choose the device you are currently coding. Choose Spencer and for the name of the sketch write down Simple Timer since that is what we'll be coding now. You'll also see the section labeled Editor Type where you can choose between Visual and Code. Opting for the Visual option allows you to use colorful blocks while choosing the Code option means that you will have to input the code manually just like the pros. We'll cover only the block coding part. Let's start! Once you open a new sketch, click on the connect button in the top right corner and select your device from the list. Since your device is still running the stock firmware, you will first need to install MicroPython onto it. Click on the More Info button located next to the message indicating that MicroPython is not installed. A window will appear with the option to install MicroPython onto your device. With this code, we'll learn how to continuously turn the LED matrix on and off with every second. To begin, we'll need the loop forever block from the loops block section. This ensures that the code is always running. First, we want all the LEDs to turn off. And for that, we'll need the fill frame with zero block from the matrix block section. Don't change the zero for now. To run the code on the matrix, you must always include the push frame to matrix block from the matrix block section. The next step will be to turn on the LEDs. So now we are going to add a one second delay between these two activities. Go to the time block section and here you will find the sleep zero seconds block. Drag it in and change it to one second. It's time to turn on the matrix. To do that, duplicate the fill frame with zero block. This time, we'll change the zero to 255. To ensure that the code runs properly, add another push frame to matrix block. Finally, don't forget to add the sleep one second block at the end. Now you can click the run button and check out Spencer's LED matrix. You can experiment with different time delays. Have fun! If you want to put the stock firmware back onto your device, just go here and click on the Restore Firmware button. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more examples.